Gordon, congratulations. Um, as, was, uh, as the guys were just pointing out, um, you are having a far better start to 2022 than you had to 2021, aren't you? It wasn't a lot of fun at the start of 2021, you know. Um, sorry. Um, I mean, that's fantastic. You know, a third and a win today. It's like, ah, oh, and some great, great racing. Uh, and yeah, the car's mega at the minute, so really, really happy. Just just talk us through that, that battle with Tom, because it was close and intense. It was, and I think, you know, this is the first time when everyone's at a different level of uh, hybrid available to them, so I'm kind of managing what I want to do. Obviously, I don't know what he's going to do, and it's a little bit kind of cat and mouse, so, you know, come the end, it probably all got back to a singular point, because we'd used it in different parts of uh, the race, but, you know, my car was fine, did enough at the end, you know, uh, as I say, you've only got to win by, you've only got to win by an inch, haven't you? I know it is early days, but the fact that you are starting the season in a positive fashion, what difference does it does it make? Yeah, it's great. We've got so many competitive cars. You know, it's just insane what's happening out there. The level's mega. So the fact that we're in the mix is great. That's kind of all we want just now. You know, there's still another race to go today and still 28 more races in the season. But if, uh, if the rest of them are the same as that, it'll be a lot of fun, that's for sure. It was great to watch. Well done, well done. Uh, Alexa... I think both of you enjoyed that race, didn't you? I mean, you'd have enjoyed it a bit more if you finished ahead of him, but nonetheless. What happened last year? <laughs> race two, Donington. Mm, something weird happened. Um, mega result. Really, really good result. It's amazing. I'm surprised how much of a difference the hybrid, the hybrid energy made in terms of not having the full deployment over the, over the full race distance. So I had to sort of save mine up and, and wait till I kind of really needed it. And... I had to wait for somebody to get close, but great racing, great to get another uh, another top result in in in, in, uh, in the points bag this weekend. So really, really good. But I tell you what, none of that. George. I know, I know this guy. I mean, George, congrats! Well Can you believe the debut weekend you're having in the British yeah. Touring Car Championship? I didn't think it could get much better after the first race. I thought that was you know a brilliant, solid start. But I got off the line so well into second even, and uh, I just 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 went for it and. Uh, yeah, luckily I had my teammate behind me, so I didn't have anyone hassling me too much. But um, yeah, no, it was brilliant. What a great start to the season. So We chatted before race one, and you were really quite nervous about the starts, yeah. weren't you? So what did you do so right then, and can you replicate it next time round? Hopefully, yeah, I've had two really good starts. So just to keep, keep going into the third one, obviously, I'm not sure where I'll be starting now. So, But yeah, no, um, I've somehow I've got the hang of the starts now. So yeah, the, uh, keep up that, and that should be good. How are you going to come down off this cloud and get yourself in, in the mind space for a race three, or are you just going to stay on this cloud and see what happens? The good thing is I've had two good results, so I can kind of go for it now in race three. Not that I wasn't there, but, you know, the pressure's off of, you know, those first two races. So, uh, no, I'm thrilled to bits with a solid start like that, yeah. There's a lot of people behind you who are really thrilled as well. Well done, congratulations.